everyone welcome back or welcome to my channel if you're new so i'm super excited for this one haven't actually shared anything about this on my channel before so i'd be really interested to see how you guys take the inspiration on this so yeah today i'm going to be talking to you guys all about how to start your very own youtube channel and how i started my youtube channel four years ago so yeah it has been that long that i've been on youtube um i've been on youtube before that doing like pranks and challenges and stuff like that but obviously that was a long time ago sort of like year seven age at school and i've come a very long way from that when i first started my youtube channel i was massively insecure really unconfident and going through a really really tough time in my life and youtube basically saved my life it grew my confidence but yeah for a small youtuber it has changed my life in a way that hasn't been like financial growth but it's been as a person i don't feel like i'd be the exact same person i am today if it wasn't for youtube so i'm very very grateful to the followers that i had at the very early stages of my channel and the followers that i have now because you guys have really pushed me to be who i am i'm a couple of months away from having my five year anniversary of my channel which is crazy and of course a massive milestone we have reached is reaching a thousand subscribers which is just amazing so thank you to all of you guys who have followed my youtube channel subscribed and gave all supports in all different ways so yeah hopefully this video is inspirational to you guys if you're looking to create your own youtube channel and you've got some ideas in mind but just don't really know how to get it up and started then hopefully this video is for you so the first step we're going to take to creating a new youtube channel is creating a youtube channel itself so you basically just go onto youtube preferably on a computer but you can also do it on your phone set up a youtube account and basically you go from there so download the app for youtube to create youtube videos is a good start create a username so you need to think about how to brand yourself are you going to use your full name are you going to use a nickname that you've always been called growing up or you're going to go with something completely different have a little play around on a username finders online and see which one kind of springs to mind feels most like you fun fact a lot of you guys may not know my youtube channel was actually coralie xo really really basic wasn't catchy at all and then early on in my youtube stages i had a little play around and i basically found world of cora so it basically is a meaning to me because i absolutely love planets and that was one of the things that i put down like space astronomical stuff and obviously lifestyle and together it kind of just works like world of cora core of the world i don't know it just seems to go together really nice and i'm really really happy with my username so i've stuck with that for the past four years but originally my channel name was coralie xo as you change creatively your content changes and so does like the way you want to be seen and broadcast in a way i know that even zoella she has now changed to zoe sug which is her actual name and then her brand which is her um, makeup and beauty wear and stuff is Zoella. So that's her brand name. So yeah, change your name, have a little experiment, whatever works for you guys. And then following that, you can create a channel art, which is basically the banner that goes on your YouTube channel. It comes up as your kind of main profile and have a good profile picture it could be anything you want it could be anything to do with youtube content it can just be yourself and that kind of sets up your page really to creating youtube videos so moving on to creating videos itself now i was really lucky because I was already into photography. I've been into photography since I was 12 years old. I was actually at college at the time of creating my YouTube channel. And I think I was in my second year of um, my photography course when I started my YouTube channel. So yeah, I already had camera, I had some basic lighting, I had knowledge of cameras and software and editing equipment, stuff like that through college, but not a massive amount with like videography and stuff like that. So YouTube to me was a big, big challenge with like editing i had no editing skills when it came to videos at all everything to me in my lifestyle was photographs everything was photographs and photo shoots and all of that sort of stuff and then this was like a whole new world to me so me and josh both have a youtube channel he has the g7x which i'm using now i actually prefer this compared to my camera which is the canon it's just behind me it's the canon m3 i think canon m3 eos camera but i've actually smashed my viewfinder thing at the back so you know it's just on display at the moment so i can fix it so yeah this was my first kind of camera investment which i used for my youtube channel basically so yeah that was my equipment as well as this light which i'm using here i'll try and move it so you guys can see it it's basically just a studio light which i picked up on amazon if, if you can't see it i'll put a picture up and this one was like 
I would say 19.99 something like that really really cheap had that on my DSLR camera and my backdrop was my bed so you know I've come a long way in the whole learning side of YouTube and I feel like there's never enough things that you can learn about this subject like as well as a lot of things in life anyway but when it comes to like YouTube it was just like so much to learn I really enjoy and I still enjoy it now like the whole aspect of videography and editing and lighting and meeting people online talking to you guys that is the best part of YouTube for me I just I just love the whole thing so first of all I think you would definitely need a camera to obviously film yourself now this can be a smartphone it can be a vlogging camera it can be a DSLR it can be anything you guys want to film yourself on as long as you can transport it to a like a computer or be able to upload it on YouTube that's the main thing really you don't want to get anything that you can't really export and you find troubles with trying to get it onto YouTube because that's just a lot of faff that you can easily avoid so if you want to make it like budget friendly to start with by all means go for your smartphone every single phone has got cameras on these days and you can film my phone here is actually the iPhone 11 Pro I think I got it recently and they've actually got free cameras on now which is just amazing so technology is definitely grown over the past four years since I started YouTube I was using my DSLR for my photography course and I was using the studio light which I still have I have replaced the light bulb a few times but it's just in good working order and it's been one of my best friends since my YouTube channel started so yeah I do also have a tripod which I'm using as well so yeah a tripod a camera of any kind and a good lighting so you can use lighting for nighttime and all times of the day but obviously if you can't afford lighting at start you can definitely just film during the day get a good lighting setup and you can go from there and just see how that works but obviously as you grow as a youtuber and as you kind of get more interested into it and start investing in all these little bits and bobs it definitely makes an improvement as your channel grows basically so yeah I haven't really changed my equipment massively since I started I've got my camera I've got my tripod I've got two lights now instead of one once you've got your equipment ready YouTube set up now I think the next things you definitely need so I'm gonna go into editing and how I edit my thumbnails and stuff like that so for me I've always used PicMonkey from the get-go to create and edit my thumbnails and then for my editor software at first I started using a Adobe Pro Premiere thing which I picked up from Curry's for like £44 and yes yeah, so now I basically just use iMovie and yeah those are kind of like the main editing softwares that I use but obviously you can only get iMovie on Apple products so obviously iPhones you can get iMovie on as an app so you can basically on your phone film your YouTube video edit it on the app and upload load it straight from your phone one thing I forgot to mention there about camera equipment and accessories like that is if you are going to be investing in a camera of any kind is to really invest in a good SD card now I first started off with a 32 gigabyte memory card and a 64 gigabyte memory card and obviously when you're filming sometimes you can be filming for about 20 to 30 minutes and the memory is just not going to hold on those sim cards it's just too small so i definitely recommend getting like 150 or i think it's 128 gigabyte or the 251 or just the biggest one that you can get get it and um, it has to have the 10 logo on it i will put a picture here where you kind of want to film a couple of videos on your sd card edit them and then you kind of got videos in advance which is going to help move on to the next subject which is filming and schedules so Depending on how you kind of want to create videos, I personally don't really have a schedule. I try and have like a goal of uploading four videos in a month or every Sunday or once a week or twice a week, depends on what's going on in my life. I don't really have a strict schedule because honestly my life is so unorganized it just is not realistic for me and I know you guys are probably aware of that I don't really have a consistent schedule it probably help a lot with my channel growth if I did have that but I work in a hospital I'm a key worker and I've got so many different things going on in my life that I just cannot realistically stick to a schedule but if you are looking to kind of create a schedule and that's something that you can definitely do then I highly recommend kind of like filming your videos in bulk editing them and then scheduling them throughout the month so that you always have a video made in advance so if you are poorly or if you're off ill or if you just can't film that week just not really feeling motivated then you've got videos in advance to kind of keep your channel running basically but obviously it depends on what your channel 
goal is and how you want your channel to kind of be seen in that way so for me i just post as and when i can when you're first starting out it's just fun to kind of learn all these new skills and have your first video go out it's just such a great feeling um also really nerve-wracking as well because you don't know what's going to happen if you're going to get a load of hate or good comments or you just don't know how it's going to go so but yeah for me it's such a shame because i wish i had more time to spend on my youtube channel but unfortunately i don't i have kind of like should i quit youtube should i keep making videos because sometimes my life is so hectic with work and stuff like that but something keeps pulling me back you know i just keep making content i just love it it's one of my favorite hobbies to do and i just love sitting there writing down ideas on what to film how i can produce it how i can film it what lighting should i use you know all that sort of stuff i just love it so yeah if you do have the time to create youtube content and schedule out that's gonna be amazing for you because i feel like that is definitely a good way to go in terms of getting like channel growth if that's something you're into i think my next kind of advice on how to start a youtube channel would be your reasons why so why are you making a youtube channel ask yourself what type of content you want to make what type of content you enjoy watching as well because you kind of want to create content that you would like to watch yourself yeah have your reasons why you want to make a youtube channel are you making a youtube channel because you want instant fame um you want to be up there with the high-end youtubers or do you want to make a youtube content because you feel like you have content to make you just want to have something to do have something to produce as a hobby in that way but obviously everyone's got their own reasons why they started a youtube channel some people accidentally some people instantly you know they come on youtube for that reason to get success and they just smash it which is just you know fair play to them that's their goal they've hit their goal that is something that you kind of got to spend time on even if you have like a niche for youtube content sometimes you do have the days where you just don't have any ideas at all you don't know what to post especially for me like sometimes i struggle with the lighting i just don't feel it i don't feel like the way i look in a video i just hate my appearance and hate the way i sound and how i spoke about subject so there are a lot of negatives to kind of creating youtube content sometimes i don't know kind of waffling on a little bit now when you're a creative person there's always something that could be better or could have been done better you know there's some videos i look back on i think oh i could have said that instead of this but it is what it is you know you make your content you, you produce it and sometimes it is hard and sometimes you just really enjoy it sometimes you don't but that's the whole aspect of youtube sometimes and i feel like people don't really see that side when you're watching people create videos so yeah that's something just to take on board really my next tip and advice on starting a youtube channel is basic knowledge on descriptions and titles and thumbnails and tagging your videos so you want to have like catchy thumbnails you want to have catchy titles a good description to kind of like describe your video have links of your instagram account have links of the items that you've mentioned in the video and just kind of like have a little bio about that video i always seem to write like a diary on the end of my video i don't know why kind of write a little summary on how the video come together you know it, the time it made to make it and all sorts of stuff like that so if you're ever looking through my youtube channel and you look through my description and think what the hell are you writing there i don't know why i kind of feel like it's my time to kind of post a little you know blog on my vlogs and also tag in your videos as well it kind of like promotes your video on a youtube search so if you're making a i don't know a primark haul or something like that put in your tags you know primark haul or clothing haul and make the tags kind of relevant to the video so that when someone searches for a youtube video in particular your video comes up in one of the recommended videos so that's what tagging is all about when it comes to titles i'm not a huge fan of clickbait i try and keep my titles and thumbnails relevant to the videos you know highlight a word that i've said or or like a category that i've kind of spoken about in the video of course but don't make clickbait videos where it's just not relevant to the video at all just be honest and open about your content obviously make it catchy but don't say that the video is a primark call when it's really you know and as the shopping haul you know it's just not the same thing keep the title and the thumbnail relevant to the actual video itself and you're good to go so yeah that was everything that you guys needed to know about how i started my youtube channel and how you guys can also start a youtube channel if that is something you are definitely into doing go for it you know i'm 100 for anyone who tries to kind of do it do something different with your life you know just i don't know it's, it's interesting it's fun 
Um, I love everything about YouTube. I even love the fact that I hate it sometimes because it just makes me really motivated to keep going at some weird reason. I don't know why. Kind of like reverse psychology for me. But yeah, I hope you guys have found some really useful tips in this video and this has been of some use to you guys who are interested in starting up your own YouTube channel. And comment down in the comment section down below if you do start a YouTube channel. Let me know so I can subscribe, check out your videos, check out your content and support you guys in the process. So that'd be really cool. And then if you are a YouTuber like me and you've been creating videos for a while, what was your reason why? You know, why did you start YouTube? What motivated you? And what motivates you now to keep making YouTube content? Because like I said, you can have those hit and miss days. So yeah, let me know in the comment section down below. Don't forget to smash this video a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel if you want to see more from me in the next couple of weeks because I will be uploading a lot more cozy content. So there's a little hint for you guys. Hope you're all well and staying safe and I'll see you all in my next video. Bye.